Hi, Lexi Daly here with this week's episode of Make It Monday for Paper Tray Ink. Today I've got something easy for you on the heels of Stamp Affair, and that is glitter inlays. Here are a couple of recent examples that inspired this Make It Monday, where I've used um, sticker paper behind mix and mat panels and filled the spaces with glitter. So I'm going to use a shape shifter square two today and I've just cut around the smallest square in the set and I am backing it with a pre-cut piece of paper tray ink sticker paper. This technique is definitely an oldie but goodie um, and I think I've been pulling it out more often lately because of the mix and mat series and the shape shifter series and these great die cuts with um, inner patterns that provide good spaces for putting glitter into. As you can see my sticker paper was slightly bigger than my panel so I trimmed it with scissors and now I'm going to fill it with glitter. I keep a vintage sugar bowl on my desk filled with clear sparkle glitter because that's my go-to and I like to have it handy. I'm spooning the glitter over the panel on top of a piece of scrap paper so that it will be easy for me to save any extras. I like to put a pretty thick layer over something like this so that I can really press it in with the back of my spoon. I want to get as much glitter as I can pressed into the adhesive and on all the little nooks and crannies of these spaces since it's somewhat intricate um, it helps to be able to push it into place. So once I feel like I have enough, I shake off the excess and pour the extra back into the sugar bowl. It's a fun piece to have on my desk and it makes clear glitter readily accessible. So I also keep close to that at this little makeup brush. Um, it's just a really soft, small brush and it helps to dust off any excess that isn't stuck to the adhesive. So here's my completed panel, um, tone on tone shimmer, and a great backdrop for almost anything. For this card, I decided to create a clean and simple thank you card using a rose from Botanical Bounty 2 in yellow and a sentiment from Never Enough Thanks. And so here I am setting up my sentiment and stamping it in weather ring. It's such a pretty gray, I love it and it is now available for purchase. Those of you who are at Stamp Affair got to use it um, in my class. So once I have the sentiment on, I am assembling the card as I had kind of mocked it up before putting the sentiment, I'm just getting everything into place and adhering it down. Another funny thing that came up over the weekend was whether or not I had a signature color and people said yellow um, at one of my classes and it's kind of funny that this card happens to be yellow and I had already created it last week. So there it is, that's the first one and then I created a few more just to show different looks. Here's an example with gold glitter, it's very blingy and has a little bit more contrast. And then next I created one with two types of glitter. I first spaced out some stars and then filled in around it with the clear fine crystal glitter and that's a really fun confetti look. And then last I have one with clear glitter on top of a true block mailing label. It has this gray backing which looks silver once the glitter is applied. Now it's your turn. Grab some glitter and your favorite dyes and head on over to the paper train blog to link up and play along. I can't wait to see. Thanks for watching. This has been Lexi Daly for Paper Tray Inc. Bye.